welcome to this year's episode of the Love and Marriage Game. The people have spoken from last year. We heard them, and we are here now delivering. So let's get to know our couples. Couple number one. So what's your name, and where are you from? My name is Renee Ramos. I'm from Long Island, New York. My name is Lucretia Ramos from Texas. So exactly how long have you two been married? 13, uh, well, July will be 13 years. Yeah, that is correct. Okay. The year, sum up the years that you've been married in one word. You were Adventurous. Adventurous. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> so now we go to couple number two. What's your name? My name is Robin Davis. And where are you from? Born and raised in Daytona Beach. All right. And where, what's your name? My name is Janice Davis. And where are you from? Daytona Beach original. Okay. Well, Mrs. Davis, how, how long have you been married? I've been married for four months now. Today. Okay. Is, that, is that correct? That is correct. Okay. Okay. Happily married. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. 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 So, uh, Mr. Davis, if you were to sum up these four months in one word of being married, what word would that be? Joyful. 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 Mrs. Davis? Magnificent. Magnificent. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 So couple number three. So what, what, what's your name and where are you from? Hi, I'm Treva. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And where are you from? And I'm Nazi. I'm from Brooklyn, New York originally. Okay. Uh, so how long have you two been married? We've been married almost two years. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. 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 So... Mr. Doe, sum up those years of marriage in one word. Uh, what am I? Uh, one word, a uh, growth. Growth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mrs. Doe? I would have to agree. Growth. <laughs> growth. Okay. Growth. Okay. So, this is how this works. Uh, the men will uh be up first and they will be at, the ladies will exit the stage we will ask the men's a series of three questions you get five points for each correct uh, answer uh, then we'll bring the women back in and they will we will judge them off of what they've done um, and what they know of each other and welcome back so now we have the men up so we're going to start asking them questions so we're going to start with couple number one. Couple number one, fill in the blank. A perfect wife is one who blanks. Listens. Listens. Okay. Have a problem with that one time? Have mm. a problem with that? No? I think all guys do. Oh, no. okay. okay. All right. Couple number two for your first question. If your mother-in-law was an animal, what animal would she be? If your mother-in-law was an animal, what animal would she be? She, she was a sweet lady, so I'll say a kitten. A kitten? Yeah. Oh, I just purred up. And, oh, look at right. that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, question number one, couple number three. Finish this sentence. The last gift I gave my wife was blank. <laughs> oh, man. What does she consider a gift? Uh, Uggs and a, uh, it was Ugg boots and it was a, uh, what is it called, man? A bathrobe from Victoria's Secret. Well, which one do you think she would say first? Man, I'm gonna go with the bathrobe. Bathrobe. Bathroom. No, I changed my mind. Uggs. I'll go with Uggs. the Uggs. Uggs. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go for our second question. Second question for couple number one. What was the last thing you did for your wife that she never expected? Wow. Um. One thing you did for your wife 
that she never expected. <laughs> wow. Um, like recent or anytime? Anytime. I might say clean. Clean? Clean, yeah. Clean yourself or clean? You clean the house. house. Clean yeah. the house. Okay. All right, question number two for couple number two. The last time you gave your wife flowers, were they roses, carnations, another kind, or would, you, or would she say you never gave her any flowers? Roses. Roses. Are you a roses guy? Yeah, man. Uh, yellow, red? Pretty much all the colors, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right. She likes roses. Well, I do, oh. <laughs> but I don't get them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Question number two, couple number three. Would your wife say that you're the type of person who would like to try new things or would rather leave things the well enough alone? Oh, try new things for sure. Try new things. So you like trying new things? Yeah, she knows. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Third question for couple number one. If your wife could spend a day in the life of someone else, who would it be? Hmm. I'm hoping she says the same thing, but I'm gonna go with T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes. There we go. Question number three for couple number two. Is your wife always late, always early, or always on time? She's always early. She's always early. Oh, okay. That, you don't really see that too many times with some of you. Okay, cool. All right, couple number three. Question number three. What is the one household chore your wife will say that you do better than she does? <laughs> One household chore, your wife will say that you do better than she does. It's her speaking now. Oh, man. She might say nothing. Uh, <laughs> but uh, is uh, organizing the groceries? That'll probably be it. Organizing yeah. the groceries. Yeah, she doesn't grocery say nothing. Man. Yeah, just, I call it plain Tetris. I like to stack the stuff up a certain way. Okay. So Welcome back. Uh, the women have now taken uh, graced us back on the stage. And so now we're going to see how well the men know their wives. Couple number one. This is, I asked him this question. Fill in the blank. A perfect wife is one who blanks. Mm, good question. Takes care of her family. Takes care of her he said, listen. Oh, well, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Have a problem? Did you don't listen to <laughs> Probably, I'm sure. Absolutely. No, no, I, I'm sure that's not the case. No, you're, <laughs> he spoke well. All right, couple number two. We asked him, if his mother-in-law was an animal, what animal would she be? A tiger. A tiger. He said a kitten. My mama? <laughs> that, that's a rule to be. To be. <laughs> you gotta go by both of them. <laughs> a kitten. So she so you you're saying she she's 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 ferocious? Oh no, she can tell it like it is. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Couple number three. First question. Finish this sentence. This is him speaking. The last gift I gave my wife was blank. <laughs> the last gift he gave me. Um, wow. <laughs> Can we skip this question? No. <laughs> the last gift he gave me. Think. Think. A gift. He considered it was a give. I'm gonna do like Jeopardy. Um, I'm just gonna say that he took me on vacation this weekend. Vacation. That was a give. He said, "Ugg boots." 
Oh my God. <laughs> you didn't just buy the Ugg boots. It was a lot of stuff that came with the Ugg boots. <laughs> so it was going to be hard. Well, he said, yeah. uh, in fact, he said Ugg boots and he said bathrobe. And he was. The Christmas yeah, stuff. Yeah, and I was yeah. going there and I couldn't. Yeah. Cool, cool. I was almost there. No problem, no problem, no problem. All right, here we go for question number two for couple number one. Question number two is, what was the last thing that he did for you that you never expected? Um, well, other than buying flowers after I just recently graduated college, that was unexpected. Um, but he does stuff all the time that I don't expect, so I don't know. Flowers. I will go with flowers. He said clean. Yeah, I was about to say. I don't know. No, so, so it is time where he, does, he doesn't like it clean? Well, he does it all the time. Sometimes it's just uh, spur of the moment. So, okay. yeah. All right. Question number two for couple number two. The last time you gave your wife flowers, this is him. I'm talking to him. Last time he gave you flowers, were they roses? Carnations, another kind, or would you say that you never gave he never gave you flowers? Oh, he gave me roses. Roses? He said roses. Mm -hmm. All right, so you love roses? Yes. Well, he say he loves them. He didn't know if you love them. <laughs> 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 but okay, okay. All right. Second question for couple number three. I'm talking to him. He's saying this. Would your wife say that? You're the type of person that likes to try new things, or would you rather leave well enough alone? He tried new things. Try, he said try new things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So he, he, he really is into trying to do different yes. things. Okay. That's how you keep the relationship going, never, never <laughs> being stagnant. Okay. So now we hold the last question for couple number one. If... Your wife, this is him speaking, if your wife could spend a day in the life of someone else, who would it be? He's speaking for who you would want to spend the day in the life of. I like myself. I don't want to be anybody else. <laughs> I don't know. Um, a superhero, maybe? A superhero? A superhero? Yeah. He said... Bishop T.D. Jakes. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I do like Bishop. So, question number three for couple number two. Is your wife always late, always early, or always on time? Always early. He said always early. Right, all right, yeah, y'all on it. I, I, I like that. So you like, you know, we we don't really see that too many all too often. Oh, I don't like being late, and I don't like being on time. I like to be early. Okay. I was out there about six thirty-five. Oh, I understand. I understand. Question number three, couple number three. What is the one household chore your wife will say that you do better than she does? What's the one household <laughs> chore that he does that you would say he does what chore do better you do? than he does? What chore do you do? Because <laughs> what household chore? <laughs> you don't do chores. <laughs> so this is really crazy. Um, one thing he can do better, the household. Yep. That you would say that he would do better. Thank Cook you. curry chicken. That's the only thing I can think about. <laughs> he said, You don't do no chores. He said, Organize groceries. Oh, he played Tetris <laughs> with the fridge. Yes, yes, he said Tetris. Sorry, you played Tetris <laughs> with the fridge. Okay. No problem, no problem, no That's problem. That's not really a chore. So we're going to ask the uh, men to exit the stage. And we will hit the women with questions. These, these, point, these questions are worth 10 points, and with a bonus section is worth 20 points. Now, these points are worth 10 points apiece, and then we have a bonus section at the end. Uh, so we have four questions total, three worth 10 points, and the bonus question, which will be worth 20 points, is a two-part question. Gotcha. 
So for couple number one, the first thing that, it, what was the first thing that attracted you to your husband um, was what? He's very smart. Smart. Okay. Question number one for couple number two. What is your husband's most annoying or embarrassing habit? Snoring. Snoring. Oh, he's, he's a snorer. Hmm. Keeps you up at night. Oh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> that bad. <laughs> he could get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number one for couple number three. Where did you two go on your very first date? Oh, we went to the art museum. That was our very first date. I like art. He yes, art. we like art. Okay, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Question number two for couple number one. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would your husband say you would want to go? Oh, we talk about this all the time, but I don't remember. Um, travel anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Dubai. Dubai. Oh, that's a lovely place. Yeah. Question number two for couple number two. Who will he say you are closest to in his family? My mother-in-law. Mother-in-law. Okay. All right. I got a good, good, good. Oh yeah. Good relationship. Mm -hmm. That's al that's always good to have a good oh, relationship yeah. with the mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that's my girl. All right. Question number two for couple number three: If your husband wrote a book about your family, what would the title be? Um, he's a writer <laughs> in real life. Um, he writes poetry, so it would be like, wait, our media, our family, me and him, mm -hmm. our family. Mm -hmm. um, I'm assuming it'll be about, can I like say three words? Yeah, Love, really blended, and chaotic. Love. And unique. <laughs> That would be the title of the book. Yeah. Love, Love blended, blended, chaotic, unique. Chaotic, unique. Okay. Interesting. I can see how that goes into a, to a marriage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go for question number three for couple number one. Will your husband say that you spend more money, he spends more money, or you spend money equally? He spends more money than I do. Oh, he, he, he has that. Loves to give the money out. Well, he buys expensive gifts. I don't. Okay. So I could buy a lot of little things that don't cost that much. <laughs> <laughs> but when he's ready to spend, it's $1,300 or something like that. But it's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Question number three for couple number two. If you two went on a double date, with another couple, who would your husband want to go with? My brother, Sam. Brother and his wife? Brother and his wife. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. My brother. Sam. Your brother? Yes. Your brother? My brother. He doesn't have any brothers. No, okay. Okay. All right. So we, now we hit to the bonus rounds, a two-part question. This is worth 20 points. Okay. Get half of it, get 10 points. Mm -hmm. Okay? Besides you. Who are the other two people your husband talks to the most? His mom mm -hmm. and my friend Yolanda. Okay, question number three for couple number three. What is the one thing you don't have in your house but you wish you did? Can I say two things? Just one. one. Um... I'm going to say that one thing we really don't really have, but we kind of got, is his own office space because he needs peace and quiet. Office so his space. Office, yes. Okay. No problem. No, understandable. So now we've reached the bonus round. This point, these points is worth 20 points again, two part. All right, so we're going to start with couple number one. Besides you, 
Who are the other two people your husband talks to the most? <laughs> oh my gosh, these are hard questions. Alex is one of them, other than me. I'm trying to think of his boss's name at work, but I don't think, I don't we know want his to, name. You want to say his boss? Yeah, his boss? I don't know his, I don't remember his name. Okay, okay. We, now we hit to the bonus rounds of two part questions. This is worth 20 points. Okay. You get half of it, you get 10 points, mm -hmm. okay? Besides you, who are the other two people your husband talks to the most? His mom mm -hmm. and my friend Yolanda. Mm -hmm. Your friend Yolanda. You, you feel confident with that? Of course. I'm okay. a confident person. All right. All right. Here we go for our bonus question. Couple number three. Besides you, who would, who are the other two people your husband talks to the most? Um, two other people he talked to. The um, most besides you. The most besides me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to say his friends. Well, I got to do names. Gotta um, Andre. Andre. Um, he talks to him a lot on the daily. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say... His mother, his mother, she calls every day. Oh, he, oh he's a mother boy. Yeah. Mother boy. Okay, okay. So his mother and, um, and Andre. And Andre. Okay. Yeah. You sure about that? You confident? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> cool, cool. So we're going to bring out the men and see how that works out and see if they can answer the same way. That works. <laughs> well, let's bring the, the men back to the stage. And when we come back, you will have we will see what the men have to say. So, question number one, couple number one. The first thing that attracted you to your husband was what? Well, it could be two different things. <laughs> wow, which one should I go for? Uh, I'm going to go with voice. Voice? You said voice? Yeah. Voice? I guess I will. She said you're smart. You're, you're an intelligent man. Okay. <laughs> no worries. No worries. We can put the case back up. Put the case back up. That could have worked. That's a good answer, too. Couple number two, question number one. This is her speaking now. What is your husband's, I asked her, what is her, your husband's a most annoying or embarrassing habit? I didn't know I had one. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, 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 she really had one right up to go, so. Annoying or embarrassing habit? Annoying habit. I think that'll be. I think that'll be. Splashing water on the countertop. Oh, she said <laughs> snoring. Oh. She's like, you snor you're like a bear in there. <laughs> I say he could get it. No, well, yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay, okay, okay. No point in saying that. Okay, couple question number one for couple number three. Where did you go on your very first date? Let's see. So we went to the art museum. Then the one that opened up. Okay, the that's Museum of Arts and Sciences. The art museum. She was like, yeah, yeah, love art. Yep, yeah, love art a lot. We actually need to go back. Okay. Hey. Couple number one, question number two. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would your husband want 
to go. Wow. <laughs> We've been talking about traveling so much. <laughs> yes, she said it. <laughs> The world. I'm going to go with a place I've always told her I wanted to go. I'm going to go with Japan. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> she said Dubai. Dubai. <laughs> so you want to go to Japan? <laughs> no problem. She said Dubai. We talked about it a lot. Of, we did. Uh, yeah, we talked Yeah, we about mentioned it. so many places. I don't know which one. Yeah. yeah. Second question. So question number two for couple number two. Who will you who will you say? Not her, it's you. She's saying who you who will you say is the closest to in his family? Who well, you would say to. is she's the closest to in your family? In your family. Yeah. My mom. That's what she said. Mother-in-law, <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. You know, for four months, they really got this thing down pat. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two for couple number three this is her speaking. If her, if her husband, which is you, wrote a book about your family, what would the title be? Family being you, you all. You wrote a book about the family. What would the title be? Um, I got two titles. Can I take both? Yep, yep. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. <laughs> There's like three titles. There's so many. Put it all in one. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let me down. The Black Brady Bunch? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> she said, no. love, chaotic, unique. Question number three, couple number one. Will your husband say that you spend more money, he spends more money, or you spend money equally? So either you spend more money, she spends more money, or y'all spend it. It's a tricky question. Like, spend more money as in, like, paying bills or spending money just spending money? Spending money. I spend more money. You spend more money. <laughs> Question number three for couple number two. If you two went on a double date with another couple, who would you want to go with? Going to end up there. Who do you want to go with? Never thought about it. Ain't no thing. Never went on a double date. But if we had to, who, 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 what who family would you want to go with? What? Hmm. Oh, you making me want to get in that yeah. chair and <laughs> shout <laughs> right now. Come on. Pastor and First Lady. Pastor, he, she said her brother Sam. and wife. Oh, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's going back to mail. <laughs> okay. Question number three, couple number three. What is the one thing you don't have in your house but you wish you did? She's speaking for you now. The one thing you don't have in the house, but you wish you did. Oh, the room space, the office space that I'm trying to build. Hey. Yeah. Got that right. right. Obviously, right. I know you better. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> now we'll go to the bonus round. Couple number one. Besides you, who are the other two people your husband talks to the most? Besides. Two other people that I talk to the most. <laughs> my son and my mom. 
question couple number two besides this is I'm talking to her besides her who are the other two people that the husband will be will talk talks to the most who do you talk to the most besides her two people two people mm-hmm. besides your wife who are the other two people you talk to the most? She was quick with it now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One of them would be my mom. Mm-hmm. The most. Oh, and the other would be my uh, my bass instructor. Ernest. She said your mom and her friend Yolanda. That's not lately. Huh? <laughs> no, that's lately. Okay. <laughs> Besides her, who are the other two people you talk to the most? Besides oh, your wife. Gosh. It was easy for her. I hope I don't talk a lot. Andre is one of them. I don't talk to people a lot. Come on. I feel like I'm throwing out the. My frat brother Rick. She said your mother. <laughs> she called every day. I don't talk to my mother a lot. She called every day. I mean, I'm talking to her. I was going to say Rick too, but your mama be Rick calling, so. <laughs> And the winner of this year's Love and Marriage Game is couple number three, the Doe's <laughs> yeah. family.